hidden away in absolute obscurity, guys. <laughs> That's where this guy fucking lives. <laughs> All of that is his property. Like, now we're paying for a mediocre drink. It's it's a good- it's overpaying for a good drink, I would argue, Loop Mail. Dude, when I was like- when we were at TwitchCon last year, and we were like, super hungover, from like, one of the best nights that I've ever had, and we were just walking around outside of the convention, it was really fucking hot. Having like, a cool Starbucks iced tea, green iced tea, that was like, actual fucking heaven. That was so nice. Yeah, I don't know real time. It's like... I guess the argument is like you should be able to get this for less money. I, I don't know. Prices are weird, man. No, you're just wrong, little man. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like, that's it. The Puna iced tea is good, but it's not even close, dude. That's just not true. Is it worth the extra price? Maybe, probably not. But in that situation, just having ice in it, that was worth it, like, on its own. Wait, when did I swear? The swear jar is only for the R word, dude. Yeah, the swear jar is when I is when I say the R word. I don't know what the agreement was with the swear jar. I forgot. Reggie Ice, yes. <laughs> a furry shrine. This is a trainer. What's the R word? Reggie Ice, dude. Wait, so usually... Usually... Gym leaders have puns as their names, right? Where's the pun with fighting types with Corinna? Does anyone know? You must be PC then. Sycamore told me you would be coming. I'm called the Mega Evolution Guru. I guess you could say I'm an acquaintance of his. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oh, but Mega Evol- Pokemon aren't the only thing that Mega evolved into something bigger, if you know what I'm saying. Mega Evolution Guru isn't my real name, of course. Now come here for a moment, will you? Corinna <laughs> D's nuts. K.O. and Arena? Oh. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Hmm, only one of you. I thought they gave five kids a Pokedex. Isn't there anyone else with you? Oh. What's that you're talking- who's that you're talking to, little P? People call me the Mega Evolution Guru. Uh, my name is Tierno, and that's PC over there, and my name is Trevor. Pleased to meet you, Sycamore's pupils. But there are still only three of you, huh? What's this now? Were you the one who found that intriguing stone? Yeah, yeah, it was me. It was me. It was me, dude. 100%. I found it. Yep, sure was. Nothing good comes from lying. Were you really the one who found that intriguing stone? Yeah, 100%, dude. Yep, sure was. Nothing good comes from lying. Were you really the one who found that intriguing stone? Yep, definitely was me. Sure was. Nothing good comes from lying. Were you really the one who found that intriguing stone? Yeah, 100% me, dude. Yep, sure was. Nothing good comes from lying. Were you really the one who found that intriguing stone? Alright, I'm done. I'm sorry. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you play like a tier list when you first play a fighting game. Wait, uh, it was you who found it, right, little P? Well, who found it doesn't really matter. What's important is that you were honest. If you tell lies, the truth is clouded and eventually lost. And while we're being honest, that intriguing stone is just an ordinary rock. Hmm, <clears throat> sure a lot of hubbub out there. Does that mean everyone has arrived? I've heard of flowers called Erica's. Yeah, I think my mom has those in her garden. Hey there, so you made it to Shaller City. Lucario is in its Pokeball, but it's really happy to see you. Well, we should go see what's going on too. <laughs> Did a Pokeball just expand in your pocket or are you really happy to see me? <gasps> Looks like everyone is finally here. Lil P. How are your Pokemon? It feels like it's been some time since our whole group has gathered in one place. Yeah, I think it's been since we met up on Route 7. Mr. Mega Evolution Guru, I've been wondering this whole time, who is that over there? This is my granddaughter, Corinna. She's Saller, Shaller City's gym leader. So Sycamore's pupils, now that you're all here, I suppose I should explain Mega Evolution to you. I assume you all know about Pokemon Evolution? I know, I know. Um, uh, you have your Pokemon battle a lot, and, uh, and they grow stronger and evolve. Oh, and there are Pokemon that evolve with s certain items. Some Pokemon evolve through friendship, and others only evolve in certain places. Exactly. And it's likely that Pokemon evolve in a lot of other ways as well. But Mega Evolution is an illusion that transcends all- I just had the sickest fucking idea how to fix Megas. Here we go. Okay. Game design time, alright? You know how there's different ways to evolve a Pokemon? What if, what if, Mega evolving a Pokemon, especially the really OP ones, actually, like, required not just clicking a button, right? What if actually for every individual Pokemon evolution, Mega evolution, you'd have to fulfill a certain condition? For example, right? In order for, um, in order for, uh, Charizard to Mega evolve, right, it needs to be hit with a Dragon type move, right? In order for, um, in order for, uh, like, 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 Steelix to Mega Evolve, right? It needs to tank three physical hits, right? Like, sh shit like that. That would be really, really, really fucking cool. I think you can build a lot from that. Um, and it, it would, like, that's actually, like, I think that would be a pretty interesting mechanic. Rather than just pressing a button in order to Mega Evolve. Needs to be switched in the sun. Something like that, right? That would be really cool. If requirements for Mega Evolutions were different for every Pokemon. Every time they want to Mega Evolve, just... No, no, no. Every time they want to do it in a battle. You have to trigger, like, a certain way of doing it. Sex for comp 100%. Does it though? It depends on the execution, right? Yeah, they'd still have to be viable in battle without Mega Evolving. Which I guess is a double-edged sword. But then also, you could you would have the freedom to make the Mega Evolution like really fucking strong, right? Plus, like, it's not only like designed for like the super like competitive aspects, right? Like, like in, in game design, there's, like, certain player types, right? And one player is called the Timmy, right? This is usually for, like, um, card games, right? He's, like, the type of player who wants to just, like, pull off the, like, absolute sickest combos, right? And only plays for that, right? I think for that type of player, um, those types of Mega Evolution, they're, like, super ridiculous, but hard to actually pull off. That would be really, really cool.
I mean, like, the requirements could be more things that you set up yourself, right? Like, for example, I don't know, for Lop, I need to Mega Evolve. You need to, like, use three different fighting type moves at some point in the game, right? And like the strategy of like, okay, fuck, my opponent has its Steelix out. If I hit, if I start hitting this guy with normal type attacks, at some point he's gonna maybe be able to start like mega evolving it, right? And then I'm in deep trouble. I don't know. I think this is a really like you could build upon this idea really well. Anyway, indeed, Mega Evolution is a transformation of Pokemon that were thought to be unable to evolve any further. It's a whole new level of power. But what would that make him? Double ascended? Like getting a kill? Something like that. It, it, it doesn't have to be like that complicated, right? Because well, when suddenly you're not mega evolved anymore and you have to redo the requirements. But you could have shit like the mega evolution like you can change the other mechanics of Mega Evolution as well, right? Have them be more powerful in general. Have them maybe like um, the, the 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 Mega Evolution stays if you switch out shit like that, right? Like I don't know, um, which I think is already the case, right? Um, anyway. So in an evolutionary line like Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard, does that mean Charizard would be able to evolve even further? Yep, exactly right. Oh, that's the girl. But not all Pokemon have a Mega Evolution. There's a reason why I used the word transformation a moment ago. Mega evolutions differ from evolutions because it ends after a certain amount of time. In other words, it's a temporary evolution. What? It evolves, but then it goes back to what it was before? Yeah. Yes, mega evolution is a special kind of evolution. Yet some, some still know very little about it. What we know now is that it requires special items, and the most important element is the trust between Pokemon and Trainer. Trust, in other words, the bond between trainer and Pokemon. To make Mega Evolutions work, you need two items, a Mega Stone for the Pokemon and the Mega Ring. Team Flare are attempting to use Mega Balls to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll never not laugh at Mega Balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Since Professor Sycamore entrusted each one of you with a Pokedex, I would like to give these items to all of you. I'd like to share them with you, but... Balls? Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> this is not funny. What the fuck? I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 
Uh, I'm 14 years old. Okay. That defines Operation Mega Evolution. I know. Now today I only have one ring. It's a very precious item, so don't condemn the work just yet. I want all of you to decide who gets it. I'm afraid the others will have to wait a bit. I'll wait. Pokemon battling isn't really my scene, so Mega Evolution would be way out of my league. Me too. I really would be a it really would be a cool memory, but it does look interesting. But I want to complete my Pokedex. <clears throat> I want to complete my Pokedex first. If you try to do too much at once, you won't accomplish anything. Wise words, Trevor. Wise words. So that leaves Little P and Callum then. Trainers don't get much better than you two. Listen, I don't have any set voices for these characters, okay? I'm just kind of changing my pitch every time that it changes character randomly, okay? PC, let's battle for it. No matter what the reason is, a battle is a good chance for the two of us to complete to compete and see who Van Vanneville's town's best trainer really is. Let's fucking do it, bro. Do I am I am I healed and everything? What does this person usually start with? Um I'm gonna assume doubles. I remember a tranquil and a totodile. Okay. Fuck. Alright. I'm gonna lead Ursa Ring Gyarados. How about it? Yeah, let's fucking go, boy. Ow! <clears throat> I will master Mega Evolution and set myself apart from other trainers. I'll also do it for my Pokemon. We've come so far together, and they never stop believing in me. They're trainer. You and your Pokemon are stronger. I can tell by looking at you, but I'm not going to lose. The winner of this battle will be me. Wild Gloom. Oh, that's right! Fuck, he always led with Gloom. Shit. Okay. I think switching to Delphox is entirely reasonable here. This is probably gonna Leech Seed, actually. Maybe I should wait for one turn for him to Leech Seed me. And then switch, right? Okay. Wow, that almost kills him. Poison Powder. Wait, do I have, like, Quick Feet or whatever? I don't remember what my ability is. No, that's not. Guts! Holy fuck! Okay, let's pop off, boys! Woo! Let's pop off! Greninja. That's protein. This is definitely gonna... Like, I, cut is- even return is gonna kill this 100%. The question is, can this kill me? Does Greninja get Focus Blasts? Cause that's definitely gonna kill me. Okay. What else? Um... Honestly, like, even a Hydro Pump I would take, I think. I don't see a good reason to switch. Right now. I'm gonna go for it. Ah, fuck. That's fine, that's not gonna kill me, no way. Yeah. Okay. I think I do switch now. Not very fast. Fifty-one to thirty-four. Togetic. Am I faster than that? Extreme speed, right? I shouldn't even bother. I should definitely switch here. This thing's shit. Um, I guess I'll go. This is fairy type, probably, right? Um, let me go into arcade fire here. Okay. 
Ooh, Tailwind. That's really cool. I love that the enemy uses moves like that in this game. Okay, I just go for the highest power move, Psy Shock. Plus, Psy Shock is better here because Toga takes special defense is higher than its defense. Wow, that took it really well. So did I. Should I set up a light screen while I can? Why not, right? It also stalls a Tailwind turn here. Okay. That was a crit. Oh, I got you. Okay. Okay, Psy Shock again. I thought Psy Shock would kill, otherwise I would have gone for um, Mystical Fire for the special def special attack drop as well. Tailwind already gone. This is still a Charmeleon. What is he gonna use? I think Gyarados Switch is safer. I guess Dragon type moves are a possibility, but that's okay. That's fine. Well, the speed drop kind of sucks. I'm glad I switched though. Let's go for the Aqua Tail. Uh oh. Here we go, boys. Don't miss. Okay, we're good. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I mean, like, how many Dragon Dances was he even going to have to set up to kill me like that? Okay, we have minus one speed, plus one attack. Yeah, Gyarados is Water Dragon and has Moxie. I would have preferred Intimidate, but this thing is still going to, like, super insane. And I think it, it's going to, like, carry me. I had a Dratini, too. And Dragon, Dragonite is fucking Dragon Fairy with um, Multi-Scale. But I fucking lost Dratini. And for us, there's no st stat changes. Um, I think I just stay in. This can't kill me, possibly, right? Just go for the Aqua Tail. I might even know it's speed. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, we're good. Wow. Oh, yeah, even at light screen up. Okay. Aqua Tail in case of heal. That's fine. Don't fully paralyze. Fuck. Oh, Rocky Helmet. Easy. Easy! But yeah, Gyarados seems super fucking broken in this game. Your bonds with your Pokemon are really strong. I don't like losing much, but I'm sure you'll be able to Mega Evolve your Pokemon. There may be winners and losers in a Pokemon battle, but I really thought you two and your Pokemon were all winners, even though I fucking crushed his spirit 6-0. Mega Evolution is nothing more than just one way to make Pokemon stronger. There are many trainers who bring out the strengths of their Pokemon without Mega Evolution. Well then, PC. First you should challenge Corinna, the gym leader. Pokemon need a Mega Stone, and Pokemon trainers need the Mega Ring. Well, my mysterious trainer, well, my mysterious trainer, my Lucario may have taken a shine to you, but now I must test you to see if you're ready to challenge the Mega Evolution successor. I'll be waiting for you at the gym. Oh, the rest of your friends should come challenge me at the gym too. If you lose that match, do you just not get the Mega Ring? I don't know, I think you just get to try again, right? Maybe a rehab, I'll consider it if I lose this attempt. I didn't get the Mega Stone, it was a 50-50 chance, which is really stupid. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm taking a quick break, I'll be right back. Actually, hold on, let's finish the cutscene real quick. I'll bet the Professor will be happy with, your ma with you, Master Mega Evolution. That's one way he can show mastery as a trainer. Well, that's what the professor wanted us to do after all. He said we should aim to, the, to be the best trainers we can be and enjoy our journey. Tierno, shall we work to be the best trainers we can be too? All right then, let's aim for the top. Hope to see you soon, little P. See ya, Shawnee. You don't really need to go all the trouble of comparing every living creature. Wait, what? You don't really need to go to all the trouble of comparing. Every living creature is unique, but still, having some to com someone to compete against and aim for greater heights with is a very fine thing. 
Lil P, I think you and Callum are going to compete against each other and get really strong. I'm so glad we're all traveling together. All right. Why am I saving? That's not what I'm doing. All right. I'm running ads, be careful. 